We're at Peakhurst Park, home ground of Peakhurst United Football Club, and we're joined by one of the committee members and the players, Matt Pappas. Hi, Matt. Hi, Jack. Mate, um, during this COVID-19 uh, situation, a lot of clubs have been affected uh, during this period. How have Peakhurst United fared? We've fared uh, well. Um, obviously not able to train or do anything, but uh, we've all kept in contact with our teams. Um, majority of our teams are coming back. I just know our all-age women's unfortunately had to pull out one of our all-age women's teams. So, but besides uh, them, we've got everyone coming back. So you're pretty happy with the numbers uh, as we stack up moving into the yeah, first week of July? The, we've got the same amount of numbers as we had um, last season, so approximately 350. If there are any players wanting to play for PKS United Football Club, um, can they get in contact with you make inquiries? Definitely. They can go on to our website, www.pksunited.com.au. Um, they can also email us, which is the contact details on the website and obviously our Facebook page. Or just come down to the park at PKS Park. Female football, um, you've seen an explosion over recent years. Um, how is Peak East United uh, looking in that situation? Very, very good, actually. Um, this year we've, we've added another um, competition women's team, a 12 girls team. First time we've had it in the club, um, alongside our 17 21 girls. Um, and also we've got our Premier League women's team. In addition, we've got 11 girls teams, uh, 9 girls teams, and 6 girls. So we've been pretty strong the last two, three years, um, starting from maybe one to two uh, girls' teams, all the way now to over six or seven now, so we're growing. Sounds like you're pretty wrapped with the representation at the moment. Very, very wrapped. Got a committed um, junior uh, girls' uh, coordinator. Excellent, mate. Um, also, teams to look out for PKS United in season 2020. A gut feel on who, who you think might be go, going pretty well. I'd love to say my own team, all way, Jeffs. Um, but, <laughs> but you have? <laughs> yeah, you can look out for them. Um, but uh, definitely our all HD D team, which is actually our um, under-19 boys. Um, they won their premiership last year. Um, and this is their first season senior, so, and, you know, quite skillful, um, obviously. And we've also got our Premier League women's team, which are strong, and our all age A's hopefully go one better than last year and then our all HA competition. Also, a lot of new amenities and facilities have come online in the St George area over recent times. Um, no doubt Pecos Park has seen a benefit in that situation. Definitely. Um, we've, we've had a number of lights installed the last three or four years, um, going from one to about six lights now. Um, St George have allowed us to use the new synthetic field where we can and we've got our all AJs training tonight. And uh, we're looking for, uh, we've got a new sh um, undercover uh, shelter now where our canteen is. And we're looking for more funds uh, from state government into our field. So, but slowly but surely, we're, we're getting out of the standard of facilities. Better than it was a couple of years ago in the area. 100%. Well, Matt, thanks very much for your time tonight. We wish Peak East United Football Club all the best for season 2020. And uh, hopefully um, all systems go and green light in the first week of July. Thanks for having me, Joe. Thanks, Matt. Cheers, mate. Uh,